It was the front seven at Florida that won the Gators and SEC Eastern Division Championship in Jim McElwain's first season, make no doubt about that. We talk linebackers with David Waters. Uh, this is SEC Breakdown. Join us on Twitter and Facebook as well. Antonio Morrison, big shoes to fill uh, right there. 96 stops. You don't see a whole lot of linebackers across the country. A couple handfuls that uh, get 100 stops. So 96 tackles, 11 for loss. Uh, yeah, a ton of sacks as well. Co a couple sacks as well. So Morris gone. Uh, Gerard Davis, uh, he comes back. Um, your your thoughts about Davis? Uh, Mark, he's a missile on the field. He's versatile, fast. And I think the best thing about him, he's really, really smart. He knows how to play. He's a three-star coming out of uh, Kingsland, Georgia, right up the road from here in Jacksonville. He's a missile on the field, lacing big hits, uh, fast, relentless. Uh, and what I think the thing I like about him the most, he's as good in the fourth quarter in games as he is in the first quarter. And his motor just keeps going on and on. He's one of the, I think, most versatile and well-rounded linebackers that you'll see. Uh, 11 tackles for loss, including three and a half uh, sacks last season. And, you know, when the, when, the, and when the nation was watching, he stood out in the SEC championship game versus Alabama. Eight tackles. Uh, including six by himself and forced to fumble. And NFL.com named Davis the top linebacker to watch uh, in, in college football for 2016. So he's getting, you know, uh, pro recognition and definitely recognition in the SEC. You know, David, uh, the linebacking core a little bit thin. We talk about Morrison's loss. And Davis, uh, <laughs> you describe him as a missile. He's all over the place. But uh, you need a few other guys out there, and then hopefully – uh, the depth is there as well, but uh, all of that in question. Right. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe that Davis was actually splitting time with uh, Alex Anzalone uh, early in the year last year before Anzalone again got hurt. Uh, he was limited in non-contact through the spring. He just can't stay healthy, but when he's on the field, I'm telling you, he's, he's as good. He's Or in the past, you know, Jared Davis, I think, got better as the season went on last year, but they were on the field at the same time. You know, he was actually starting early in the season over Jared Davis. So Alex Anzalone, if he can stay healthy, will be on the field and, and provide some good depth for Florida. Uh, but, you know, the depth behind those two guys, there's not a lot of experience. There's a good veteran presence, and but – Behind that, there's not much. Daniel McMillan, a uh, big-time recruit out of here in Jacksonville, uh, First Coast High School, can't uh, he just can't get on the field. Uh, he's athletic. We hear he, you know, can off the field is everything you want a linebacker. He gets on, just can't get it done. Uh, Colin Johnson, I, I throw him in as well. So it's it's rare that you know Florida doesn't really have a lot of linebackers behind it. But Colin Johnson. Uh, while he doesn't have a lot of experience, he really showed out in the spring game. Uh, he, I think he, you know, he just showed what you want to want to see. Uh, but I think we got to see more. Can the young linebackers can uh, do anything? It's Florida may have to count on them. You know, forbid Jared Davis uh, goes down or Alex Anzalone goes down again. They're going to need some more depth if this front seven is supposed to continue for Florida to be one of the SEC's best. Anzalone coming into a senior season has rarely seen the field, uh, first off, because there were other uh, players in place, uh, star players, but most recently because of the injuries, like you say. He's only played 11 games in three years, uh, and this is his final uh, shot in Gainesville. Linebacker core with the one stud in Davis and some depth issues and concerns after that uh, for the Gators. Uh, David Waters from SEC Breakdown and myself join us with uh, Mike Laval, Chad Neepling, Every Thursday, we release our podcast, uh, breaking down SEC football across the board, and plenty of content available for you there on YouTube and on Twitter as well.